Oh, hello and welcome back to my Chanel. My name is Georgina. I am the Honest Vocal Coach, and today is Girl Band Thursday. So to continue with All Saints that we have been looking at for the last so many months to figure out who's the strongest and who is the weakest singer of All Saints. Now this is nearly at the end. Today I'm going to be looking at Appleton but next week or possibly the week after we'll be making that final decision on who is the strongest vocalist to who was the weakest and we've got to bear in mind they're all pretty good. You know they're, they're in a professional successful band so they're all pretty good. We're just nitpicking really. Today's performance I'm looking at is Fantasy, live at Top of the Pops at uh, 2002. So we're talking quite a few years ago uh, and this is when the two sisters decided to go solo, well solo, go duo and do their own thing. Uh, so uh, let's take a look. <laughs> So out of the two, I would definitely say the first uh, sister seems to have the stronger voice out of the two, which is Natalie. Uh, so Natalie is on our right, Nicole on the left. So I would say Natalie has a stronger voice. She definitely has more confidence in this performance uh, at the beginning here. Uh, I think with Nicole, she very rarely took the kind of limelight i think only at the beginning of never ever do we actually get a glimpse of her singing on her own the majority of the time she's singing within the harmonies now now this moment is real i know you know everything will be okay if you're treating me right green light all night are you gonna get it your way to Definitely backing vocals that they're singing with. Basically, it's a track that they're, the band will be playing over and they will be singing over pre-recorded stuff that they're filling out on stage. And there's definitely quite a lot of pre-recorded vocals there. Um, but I would say Natalie's still holding her own. She's still quite powerful in this performance. I ain't fooling around Now that you see what's about to go down And is not so good there from Nicole, unfortunately. It just, uh, wasn't really well supported and it was a little bit flat. You gotta prove to me, boy, that you got what it takes. Now I bet you can't wait for me to be a fantasy. For me to be a fantasy. Ooh, that was really good from Natalie. I think she knew as well. She was like, oh yeah. I did good. This song wasn't too bad. It's not the strongest in the world, but it really wasn't too bad. It did feel that it was still kind of All Saints, though, with that guitar riff. See ya. A bit of an uh on the end. Not very well supported again from Nicole there. It's, I don't know, it almost like it was too low or just breath control wasn't so great. I'm better than anyone, anyone you ever had, so come on, give up, give it to me. It feels like too static a performance as well. I kind of want them to take the mics out of the stands and move around the stage instead of being stuck in the one spot. Maybe they do, I don't know, but it does feel a bit static. Even 
in her face, Nicole looks nervous, uncomfortable almost. <laughs> Natalie's also checking on her sister as well. You notice there that little chemistry, she's looking around to her, but she's not looking back. I think that was lip sync that bit. I like that read bit that like builds to the chorus. Come on, give up, give it to me. Show me how I drive you mad, how you wanna be me so bad. I ain't fooling around. She's got the higher harmony as well. I ain't fooling around. That's not the easiest. You've really got to mix well, uh, bridge across your break there. Let you see what's about to go They were at number two. Wow. Well, it was an okay performance. I would say that Natalie was definitely the strongest there. Nicole's quite weak in places, unfortunately. I didn't mind the song. I wouldn't say it's like the best song I've ever heard, but I do like the, the build up to the sort of chorus at the end. Not sure in the low aspects for Nicole. I don't think it really worked out for her. Uh, but all in all, I would say Natalie was the strongest singer out of the two. And I think I may have my list of four all ready to go through in coming weeks. Weeks. So let me know who you think is the strongest of the weakest and I will see you for the final roundup very soon. Bye loves! <laughs>